You guys, I just watched Put a Ring on It, season four, episode 10, the finale. <sighs> First of all, they started off with um, <laughs> Catherine and Ricky and y'all, Ricky and his plats. I, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. But did I miss something? Did I miss a few episodes? I know I haven't been reviewing it, but all of a sudden... They're claiming that their relationship is amazing, that they're sitting in a new honeymoon phase. Um, Catherine's going to put away Smokey, which is when she turns up, when he acts up her alter ego or whatever. And she's saying she's in love. And she, in the beginning, she's crying. I know the man that I want is Ricky. Girl, girl, what? Not that man with them. Not, not the man with the plaits. No, no. Not the one that got you taking his kids everywhere while he kicking with his baby mom ex slash ex wife. I know that's not who you talking about. I'm like, oh my god. And then so either way, they in a honeymoon phase. This is the episode where they're gonna either propose or they're not. Then they go to Zay and Jasmine, and she's so cute. She wants to be married so bad. He takes her to. Um, they talk about how their relationship. They communicate better and all that good stuff. And let's get to the proposals. Um, he takes her to a beautiful scene with lots of flowers and everything. And he proposed to her and he gave her, I guess he had a ring he was supposed to give her because he was supposed to propose before her grandmother and her dad died or whatever. And she was so happy, actually made me emotional or whatever. But y'all can't take Zay serious. When he starts speaking, I like lose brain cells. But anyway, let's go to Joshua and Joya. And he talks to her dad, um, says he's ready to get married. Then he takes her out to a picnic because she's been begging for a picnic. And he plays her Afro beats and he proposes and she pretty much gives in because he still don't want a kid, y'all. He's going to drag her until uh, he's done and he's ready until she's too old to have a kid. But she loves him. They love each other. Boom, I'm happy for them. Great. Then <laughs> the last but not least, Ricky and... um. Catherine, I he takes her on a date. Catherine, I just don't like the way you dress, ma'am. You beautiful, but I don't like the way you dress. He actually was driving a car, so actually he he knows how to drive. Um, <laughs> they pull in. I knew he wasn't gonna propose when he took her to a booth, but he says we watched our highlights and we ain't ready for the big game and we not we're not ready to get married. And she's disappointed. She said, "Well, I'm gonna move on with or without you." And he says, "Well, do what you gotta do, sir. You know that's your nanny. You know she takes your kids to practice. She, you know she live with your parents and y'all live together. But, but you on this foolishness. But the reunion look like it's gonna be good because Mark is gonna show up and show out and try to holler and." Mm. It is what it is. And they say, oh, they say Ricky's trash in the bed. I believe it. He look a mess. That's it for now. The CPS scholar is out.